There's been a lot of people in here today. They have. That's the third four-wheeler, and that one's going in. Now, I didn't get started till about noon today. I've been in here uh, about three hours. Uh, I've heard a couple of trucks. What well, sound like a daggum car, which you can get a car up here. That's no joke. I mean... If you don't care about your car and want to make some money, you can drive it right straight up here. I mean, it's going to beat it to death, but a lot of holes. Coal trucks run it. You know how that goes. Some of you do. Some of you don't. But coal trucks tear the roads up, buddy. They put big potholes in them. They dig down in them. I only cut this on because I thought I was going to have a confrontation. You can still see the road kind of down there. Somebody rode in and then they turned around and went back out. Some people will be respectful and go on. A lot of us know each other. A lot of us know what we're driving. You know, they know one ATV from the other. But you do have people in here that roam these woods looking to steal you back, rob you from your sane. Just stupid. Another reason I cut this on, I wanted to show you. See that kind of like clear cut looking stuff over there? That's like a paradise for me. I love to hunt around that stuff. Usually find some big sane in that stuff. I've not dug anything big yet. Somebody may have done come through here throughout the years, but I'm sure they have. Used to have to walk in here. They used to have this place locked up. Had security guards down there. You'd have to walk in, sneak up the creek and stuff. And all that bull crap. They kind of opened it up. But they're still running the trucks. There was a guy asked me not to come in here like Monday through Friday. It's starting to rain. I'm not going to dig in this rain if it starts pouring. Uh, it has rained every weekend, it seems. It's so tired of the rain. But they're running coal trucks up and down the mountain. And uh, he asked me not to come in Monday through Friday. He said they didn't want to have an accident with an ATV, you know. Didn't want nobody hurt. He said they understood what people was doing and they didn't want to lock it back up, but before they end up getting sued or somebody dying, you know, they would, which is understandable. So I come in here on Saturdays and Sundays, which a lot of other people just blow on by them and don't care, but... It is what it is, you know. Try to make the best of it. Find the best saying I can find. So, well, I'm going to hop off here where I can look. Thinking about going home and surprising my old lady before dark. I know she don't expect me home before dark. She's so wonderful. I've got a wonderful wife. I'm proud of her. She works hard at her career. 
She raises the kids. She come home last night after working. And daggum completely spring cleaned the house. I was like, babe. I'd mentioned something about something being sticky. And there she went. I try not to say nothing, mention anything. I mean, it's not like her house is dirty or nothing like that. Don't take me wrong. I mean, she keeps a good, clean house. Kids had just built something. She didn't catch it. And I did. And she was like, leave it, I'll mop when I get home. I was like, no. I did wipe it up. But she come home and just destroyed the house clean-wise. Vacuum mop, dusted shit off. I was like, whoa, man. Chill out. Relax. Take a break. You, you've been working all day. Don't come home and kill yourself like this. The old sayings, happy wife, happy life, or something like that. Well, my wife believes in me being happy as well. I mean, that's a 100% fact. Well, guys, I hope if you're out there hunting today, every one of you has found something. It's the 2nd of October. It's time to get out there and find them big boys. We got about two weeks left of this, so... Hopefully everybody that's out there hunting is doing decent. At least making you quotas or whatever you want to, however much you're wanting to get. I hope you're making it. And I hope you're happy. I hope you all get a good price. I hope none of y'all get ripped off. If you can't get $200 or more out of your ginseng, message me. I will point you in the direction. I don't care what state you live in. I probably know a buyer in it. And I probably know a good one. Like if you're up in New York. I know Kevin up there. I can't. Krauts or something like that's his last name. Uh, um, if you're in Tennessee, Samuel Brown. I mean, I can, I can about point you into the direction of a buyer. That will give you good money and not rip you off. I've dealt with them. They're good people. You got the Johnsons right here in Harlan County. I'll give Zach a big shout out. I mean, his dad started it years ago and passed it on to his son. You know, one of those types of situations. But Rick Johnson, Zach Johnson, Jake Napier. All them boys, they're good boys. They're honest. I mean, they'll treat you right. But now I don't know about like Arkansas or places like that. I know they're sane down there, but I, you know, but. I know Georgia, a lot of people dry it. I do know a couple of buyers down there. So, anyway, guys, just if y'all need any help, you can message me. Uh, just whatever you need, I try to help you out the best I can. I believe that's... Excuse me. How you get to heaven. I don't believe it's going in a building twice a week or however many times it is they go to church. I believe it's being good to people, treat people right. You know, I think that's how you get up there, guys. I mean, and I think right here where I'm at is your best church. I really do. This is where I feel closest to God at. I mean, it really is. 
Well, that's enough of my ranting, I guess. I was really hoping to walk up on a big four prong with you guys on here, but it don't always work out like that. Like I said, I turned it on because I thought I might have a confrontation with whoever that was. But it was probably a good digger that knowed me, not somebody trying to cause any harm to anybody. But always be weary, buddy. Seriously, folks, watch you back this day and age. Watch what you're doing. Watch who you're dealing with. I've even heard of people posing as buyers and taking off with people saying, I mean, just be careful, guys, okay? You can Google your buyers, too, in your local area. You can Google your state buyers. Looky there, guys. There's a good gold one. Look. Look right there. I know we'd find one together. I'm certain that's what that is. Let me get my big fat butt up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what that is. Gold in these here hills, guys. These gold in these hills. See the berry stem. There's one way up there. Here's a baby. You don't dig them though. Leave them alone. That looks like a pretty decent one, maybe. So let's get it out. <laughs> 